All right, welcome back, YouTube. We uh, have we're going to go ahead and shoot our uh, part three to our high point uh, torture test. We've got uh, our bud Barry from work here to assist us in it because uh, what we're about to do is way too dangerous for normal people. So we have to get Barry here involved. We've got Ray. We've got all the necessary uh, safety implementations here today. Uh, we have a special suit that Barry has made to test fire the high point. So far, we've run blue pills through it, red pills. We've had multiple bore obstructions. We've run it over with a truck. We've thrown it around. We've basically done everything that we can to uh, try to deadline this gun. Now, on the last uh, video, we did get a bulge in the barrel, uh, but Barry here just took some uh, sanding belt and sanded down the bulge so the slide will close. We're going to run a true torture test in the sense that we're going to be running uh, several magazines through it to see how the reliability is after all of this torture. We're going to run 50 rounds of blazer, 16 rounds of snake shot, 15 rounds out of one of the carbine magazines. We're going to try some hydro shock, silver tip, golden saber, and we have eight rounds of powerball for a total of 112 rounds. I've also got some 4F pan powder, black powder loads. We're going to see if it runs. And we have more red pills and more blue pills. And before we leave here today, uh, what's going to happen, Barry? I believe it's going to come apart. Is the gun going to come apart? Yes. So we're going we're gonna to do the best we can to see that that happens, correct? Right. All right, let's get started. So Barry, aren't we going to need some kind of special uh, protection for you with this dangerous gun? Perhaps. Hey Barry, before we do the next part, why don't you show us night vision mode on that thing? Nice. So if we need to do any high point testing at night, we'll know what to we'll do. Be ready. Or any gun testing. Okay, Barry, are you ready? I am ready. All right. Whenever you're ready, go ahead. Bag number one, that's with the uh, blazer 9mm. All right, we're starting on the blazer. Go ahead, Barry. I'm getting the crap out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Drop it, we'll get drop it. Drop it, drop it. Next one. Just run them. All right, let me know when we get to the rat shot. Last mag of blazer. Rat shot. All right, we're switching to rat shot, so blowback, it should run it. Rat shot. Deadline? What's the problem? I don't know. Uh, the gun actually broke the safety. It somehow caught and uh, ripped a safety for it. It may have been just lodged. It may have actually broken it. We're going to pull the stock panel off and take a look, see if it's repairable. We're going to put it back online here in just a few moments. Okay, we pulled the safety out of the gun. The 
slide will not lock to the rear but we believe the gun is functional we're going to move on with the test we're going to run 16 rounds of snake shot and then move on with some of the other uh, things we got loaded up here go ahead barry whenever you're ready now this being a straight blowback gun it should run rat shot so let's see what happens running the rat shot. No, Alright, doesn't shot. like the rat shot. Okay. So no rat shot for the high point. Alright Barry, we're gonna move on to the uh, 15 round carbine mag. Let's try that. And that's just got hard ball in it, regular ball ammunition. Run it. All right, no carbine mag. All right, don't like the carbine mag. Eight rounds of Federal Hydro Shock. Hydro Shock. Eight rounds of Winchester Silver Tip. <laughs> Remington Golden Saber. Eight rounds of Powerball. Oh, he dropped the mag. Okay. Yeah. All right. He's dropping the mag now, so. Mag catch may be getting worn out. Yeah, it is. Here, run it. We're going to move on to the pan powder loads and we're going to do the grand finale. We're going to blow this son of a bitch up. We got those light powder loads, Barry. All right, Barry. Hang on. All right, as you can see, we have the gun clamped down. We have a hose clamp around it to lock it shut. We've got it locked in a vise, and we've got it pointed in a safe direction, and our method of delivery is gonna be from a distance uh, via some heavy monofilament. Uh, this is a 11 grain bullseye charge with a 147 grain bullet, jacketed bullet. We have no bore obstruction, but we've turned it into a lock breech gun, hopefully. So, here we go. I'm going to try a little bore obstruction again and see what happens. Okay, this time we have a uh, we have black powder stuffed in the barrel. We have a 223 casing driven into the end of the barrel. We have it clamped down and we also have a hose clamp to lock it shut. If this doesn't blow it open, then, you know, that's just it. I mean, we're we're Sending it back to high point after this. All right, we're going with another three eighths inch uh, hardened bolt. A 
All right, you're brutal, man. All right, we got a, a double clamp down. We got a 3 8 inch steel bolt driven into the muzzle with 11, uh, 11 grain bullseye load. If this doesn't blow it up, then we don't know what will. So.